I've shot with the A7S2 and the A7R2, which both have five axis onboard stabilization. And I shot them with OSS glass, which is the optical steady shot glass that's specifically made for this camera. And I was blown away with their stabilization capabilities. I was at the beach and I was able to handheld shooting with the 24 to 240 um, an aircraft traveling down the beach and it blew me away. Few, former um, onboard camera stabilization that I've used with the, you know, uh, the Vixia line by Canon um, was problematic. You would get your shot and then it would kind of wander and drift. Although I'm sure that the Sony does this just from a physics standpoint, it was not noticeable. It didn't mess up my composition while I was while I was filming. So I'm really impressed with it. We know that works great and um, kudos to Sony for building that stabilization into the camera on top of the lens. Just an added bonus. But let's say you're going to be using some of your Canon glass from uh, your EOS line on the Sony, which in my case, I'm shooting this video with the Com light adapter. And let's say you wanted to see how the stabilization works. So I'm going to do a quick test of uh, a couple images video showing the stabilization on and showing the stabilization off. I'm shooting with, for the stabilization test, I shot with the Canon USM 75 to 300. I think it's uh, 4.5 to 5.6 if I remember right, the F range. And um, I zoomed the lens all the way to its 300 millimeter length. And I also put the camera in super crop mode so you get that 1.6 magnification factor because I knew that would amplify any jitter or shake. So let's look at a couple shots and see the difference. So here it is, you see the steady shot is on. And here you see the steady shot is off. Now here's a shot of a duck with the steady shot on. And a shot of the duck with the steady shot off. All right, let's go back to the bees, a different angle, kind of down the throat. Steady shot on. and steady shot off. So you can see that it does make a difference. Does it make it completely stable and completely steady? No, but it does take the edge off of those sharp movements that could be hard to resolve in post. We'll do an example here so you can see what it looks like actually stabilized. So I'm using Adobe Premiere and I'm using the warp stabilization settings with the effect at its default and this is with the stabilization on on the camera and warp stabilizer as an effect and this one is with the stabilization off on the camera and the stabilization is on on an effect obviously so, hope that helps you understand how and see as an example of how the onboard 5-axis stabilization works when you're using with a telephoto lens and um, it does make a difference. I'm grateful to have a camera that has that on there. I'll do another test where we're using a, another Canon lens that has image stabilization built into it and we'll compare that with the on-camera stabilization and then we'll the on-camera completely off and just see how that looks together. So thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. If it is helpful, feel free to subscribe and use the links below. I'll get a commission from Amazon. Thanks. Bye.